to control. God wants to fill you. Why does he want to fill you? What does he want to fill you with? He wants to fill you with himself, the Holy Spirit. Fill with the Holy Ghost. Jesus said in Luke 24, 49, that you shall receive power. After this, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Then you'll be witness of me in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria unto the utmost parts of the earth. When? When you have received your doctor's degree. When you have seen your, received the Bachelor of Art. No. But when you have received the Holy Ghost, then you'll be witnesses of me through this generation, the generations that are to come, and to the utmost parts of the earth. On the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost came from heaven like a Russian mighty wind and filled all the house where they were sitting, Signs and wonders were wrought among them. And the intellectual said, Man, brethren, what can we do to be saved? Peter said, Repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children, and to them it's far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That's what God wants you to fill with. He wants you to fill with the Holy Ghost. And then you'll be united. What to? A church. No, sir. You'll be united. What to? A creed. No, sir. You'll be united to God and you and Him will be one as Him. Amen. The Father is one. God's Holy Spirit will live in you in the same works that the Holy Spirit performed Amen. when it was shared in the Christ. Jesus shall be performed in you. For he said he'd do it. Then we are one. Jesus prayed for that. In the prayer tonight, our heavenly master prayed to the Father that we'd be one as he and God is one. And how close were they? God was the life and spirit in him. And if we are one with him, we will be life and spirit of him will be in us. The earthly carnal intellectuals conception and creeds and dogmas will fade out and a new generated born again virgin experience of the baptism of the Holy Spirit will take place in the human heart. Then you'll be one. Then brother will really be brother. Sister will be sister. Your objectives and your motives and all that you are and all that you ever want to be or try to be will be for the kingdom of God. God. No matter what church you represent, where you go or what you do, 